Hey everybody, well, doing some more work on the 95 Dodge Ram 1500 V8. Uh, the last video I did was part 3 of the water pump replacement and install. That's done. I didn't do a step by step because I figured eh, for the most part that's pretty cut and dry. So, uh, as you can see I've got everything apart again. That's because the water pump wasn't the end of the story. The bypass hose. And uh, here's our new water pump all installed and ready to go. As soon as I put water in it, started getting water leaking out there. And that's this bypass hose. And uh, didn't necessarily want to have to replace it. The owner didn't want to because you got to pull stuff, as you can see, off to get to it. So anyway, bypass hose is bad. Got the new hose in. It's a Deco uh, A-Code 71651 hose six bucks for that itty bitty little piece of nothing anyway so as you can see I've already got the fan shroud and fan out I've got the AC compressor out to pull that you've got five bolts three bolts in the back which hold on a triangular bracket <clears throat> and that's the triangular bracket right here short stubby bolt in the tail end two longer bolts in the front end and then that's one of the bolts that goes on the actual compressor also. One bolt still sitting in here. Probably just leave it there. Uh, those are all half inch socket. So once you've got the AC compressor, of course you've got <clears throat> plug number one, which plugs onto the compressor. Plug number two plugs into uh, wiring. It's on the compressor here. And I don't know what this went to. Anybody know what this goes to? This was disconnected. I found this buried down there when I pulled the compressor up. Don't know where it goes. It's obviously a ground. Clearly this has had work done on it in the past. Anyway, so once you get your AC compressor, I just got it up off to the side. Uh, the next thing you got to do is you've got to pull this entire bracketry assembly, which means the alternator has to come off. And all of the bolts associated with this are... 9 sixteenths. So the positioning placement of the bolts. Let's see here. Looks like we've got a bolt here. Another one here. This one needs to come out and along with this little piece needs to come loose. Holds on this metal pipe. and Pull that bolt. Then there's a bolt hiding underneath this <clears throat> underneath this pulley here. Let's see if I can show it right there. That's uh, one of the idler pulleys. There's a bolt hiding behind it. Also, all the same size. Then you've got this bolt here. You've got that bolt there. And the DDD. You got up here. You got to pull that off, which I already did to get the AC compressor. And you got this bolt, also the same size 916, which I'll have to use a long, long socket for. Or wrench, either one, doesn't matter. Um, alternator is going to have to come off prior, and I'm going to go ahead and pull the alternator prior to pulling the bracketry, and I believe I also looked at the alternator, yep, that's 9 16 socket up front, 9 16 wrench out back, so doing good there. Only deviation, aside from disconnecting the wire for the um, alternator, which I did earlier, I'm uh, going to have to pull this dipstick tube, and that is this socket, which is 10. So, pull the alternator off, pull this in the fry, entire front bracketry assembly off the front of the engine, all to get access to this hose. And looks like we've got the new band hose clamp, which was on there uh, when I pulled it. I like these. I can see looking through the little hole, if I could do this without throwing my tools everywhere. That is an old style, crimp style hose clamp, and I detest them. So I will be going to an auto parts store or wherever I can to get a band style clamp. So, this is what is involved if you need to replace this little, I'll put my sockets down here. If you have to replace this little hose, water pump bypass hose, you have to pull this AC and alternator bracket assembly in order to 
get to the hose. And I've already pointed out what tools you'll need and the apparent locations of the um, bolts. So, that's what I'm looking at. And uh, that's what I'm fixing to get started doing today. I don't have any hose clamps on me. And it's 10 after 5. So I'm not going to get this all done. Mainly because... I want to put coolant in this when I'm done, and there's no place to get coolant here that I would pay. So, anyway, that's what's involved in replacing a water pump bypass hose um, on this. What is this? What is it? Is this V8 5.2, 5.2 liter V8 engine? And actually, this is the V8. This is the same exact engine configuration for the Magnum V6. Everything on here, as far as I can tell, uh, alternator placement, the way the water pump is, is the exact same water pump as the 01 uh, Magnum V6. Everything's identical. So, it all applies. All right, well, looks like I've got some uh, wrenches to turn, some accessories to pull, and hopefully a nice cold beer to drink. So, I better get to it. Alright, thanks for watching. Comments welcome, and I've got some work to do. Probably do another video on it once I uh, get it done or somewhere along the process. Alright, peace out.